Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in one of the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have a group of people out here that's collaborating. Uh, this will also have to do with your work. Maybe someone is look, list, looking at your work. Um, in your work, maybe something has been going on where you were maybe, it's like you're putting effort into something and you're not seeing the return on it. And I think that is something that was being done on purpose um, because I see you here on like a pedestal and with this five of pentacles coming out, it, that will let me know that in the past you were hitting, you were out in the cold, you were going through some type of like, there was some type of tempering going on with your life. Uh, it could be like your skills, your home, something like that. Um, but it looks like you're coming out of the cold. I don't know if like the authorities are involved or someone of high honor is involved and they're balancing something out. So it's that you are going through some type of recuperation. Uh, something is being balanced out for you. You could be receiving something that you were supposed to receive in the past or you're about to go through some type of... Uh, um, sprout, growth sprout or something like that. I don't know how to word that. Uh, but something is being balanced out because someone has a higher knowing about who to give some type of ace of pentacles to or who to invest into. And it has someone else trapped in their mind trying to figure out how they can put an end to this victory of yours. They're watching you, stalking you, very envious. This could be a king, queen of wands that's very envious of another queen of wands, but the one that's jealous would be the queen of wands in reverse because queen of wands upright don't got time for that. But she's very envious that you're about to have this victorious new beginning. Someone is throwing a temper tantrum behind the scenes trying to figure out again how to block two people from coming together because she knows these are two people that are thinkers, very innovative people that invest in things, right? And they're going to be very successful, people, two confident people. There's something is that they've been trying to temper with your confidence, how you take care of yourself, how you view yourself, how the world views you. And this has a part to play with it. So this three of pentacles here, if the five of pentacles we have came out in the upright in front of this, which would be, which would have been the past, they were tempering with how people see you. They wanted people leaving you out in the cold, basically in the past, right? And this is what they still want, but there's something that is out of their hand. Basically, they don't have... Like something is out of this woman's control, but she's still trying to force something to be in her control. I'm telling you, it is out of her control. A queen, king of cups may have walked away from this woman. He's single now, has his eyes on a true queen of cups, choosing to balance something out, play, have destiny played out and things like that. Maybe he feels like he has a destiny with this other queen of cups that's in the upright. Um, but there's a woman that's been left out in the cold by a king of cups. Okay, he's choosing to be practical about a situation. You could be a queen of cups, empress energy. You may have a few masculines that are interested in you. A king of swords, king of pentacles, king of wands. And you got all the kings, basically. And you're going to have some type of decision to make when it comes to who you want to work with or who you want to be with. Uh, you, you're being advised to listen to your intuition about an emperor in an institution uh, may want to work with you or there's an emperor within an institution that's been trying to hold on to you. Yeah, he's been trying to hold on to you. Keep keep control of you. This ain't someone you've ever been with in any way, shape or form. Maybe you just work with this person, but they've been taking some type of action, right? To block you, stop you, basically to defeat you, but you've stood your ground, stayed disciplined, uh, kept your intellect about yourself, like your wits about yourself, right? You're very, you're, you're a queen of swords. You're in this queen of swords energy. So even if this man wants to come and have some type of closure with you, I don't think there's like any like negative energy you have towards this person. I think you're just choosing to kind of move on with your life because there's something really horrible that this person may have done, especially when it comes to your character. Someone may have slander your character or told people that you were the opposite of what you are, especially when it comes to like 
like your work ethics. Maybe he told people you were lazy, unreliable. They didn't know what you were doing. But you are successfully putting an end to this chapter of like just unnecessary drama. I don't know how people have this much time. How people have this much time. There's a queen of wands in this situation. One is in the reverse. One is upright. The reverse is ending a chapter where she was like living a good life and is about to be out in the cold having to figure things out for herself because she tried to block someone else's destiny. More than likely the queen of wands that is in the upright who's the queen of like, basically an empress. The false empress has been trying to block the true empress. And there's something where she's about to be going through some type of life because she needs to understand what it is she was putting other people through. And I don't think it was just one empress that, th that this woman was coming after. She's been doing this to a lot of people. So she's about to mirror the same energy that she's been putting out here for people. Um, but there could be like a, even a community that's choosing to kind of separate themselves from a karmic energy. It could be a queen of pentacles energy, queen of wands energy. And they are choosing to kind of see things from a different perspective. It's like, uh, yeah, we don't really get two Fs about you like that. We're going to go ahead and balance this situation out and leave you out there. So something is being balanced out in a way that maybe you don't even know and you're not expecting. You could be like not even in this community with all of this going on. But something is being balanced out for you behind the scenes. Maybe deep down you know um, what's going on. There are two emperors that I'm picking up on. One is in the reverse. One is upright. The one that's in the upright has a lot of maybe emotions for you. Maybe this is someone that's used to keeping his emotions to himself someone that may appear very stoic maybe doesn't feel comfortable talking to just anybody i don't know if this man has never had this kind of emotions for anyone before but he sees you as very genuine someone sees you as nothing but like a queen of cups uh so he he, he thinks very highly of you he feels that you're very genuine someone very loving you're someone very um like beneficial to have around and I don't mean as far as like what he can get out of you but you're someone that has a lot of, a lot of love within yourself so you, having you in a community will be beneficial for the whole community instead of having someone that is just financially motivated because I think that is who they had in a community before that was just financially motivated but this man is listening to his intuition when it comes to giving um or working like being in some type of partnership with a karmic group behind the scenes, right? These are people that have been celebrating other people's downfall. But this emperor is stepping in to balance something. I'll come in with an offer and he's coming in quickly, right? This is someone who's maybe advocating for you behind the scenes if they have that much emotions for you. Maybe he's going through some type of epiphany as well, going through some type of awakening and seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing things for what it is that they are. And he may be asking a lot of questions or maybe he was asking a lot of questions and whatever answers he received, has led to him balancing or fixing something. Um, but this man is advocating for you, coming towards you with a friendship or something like that, whatever this is, sees you as someone that's very innovative, um, maybe trying to figure out how to balance something out, maybe a little hesitant as well on how to come towards you, how to approach you. Someone may also be trying to keep their distance from a king of swords because this is someone that has just been doing too much out here. It's like everybody is having an epiphany behind the scenes. It's that we've been coming after someone innocent. We've been coming after someone that they didn't do nothing to us. So people in this community may be choosing to take some type of different path, choosing to go within. Someone may be seeking like a lawyer. Someone is going to need a lawyer in this community. Uh, they're either going to end up serving a lot of time. I heard something about like a warlock being locked up for a long time. Um, I don't know if it's like for the rest of the rest of his life during this lifetime but someone has been doing something that's very illegal like a uh, misusing technology um and they're about to get locked up and it's not something where you're about to go in for like two years five years and come back out like you're going to be at your fat final destination until you leave this room because there's something you've been doing repeatedly for a long time and i don't know if you tried to on a live someone or you did something like that maybe all your secrets are going to be coming out Th this is like this is the goodbye. But anyways, let's get back to the read, folks. It's a lot of revelations going on, a lot of epiphanies. People just having some type of realization. I don't know if they're 
I don't know if they're receiving information some way, somehow, and this is helping these people go through some type of epiphany. There could be a couple that's removing themselves from a community as well, a collaboration. They don't want to be part of this collaboration with these people because they know it's something, or maybe they're going through some type of realization now that it's not something that is right. It's not something that's based on principle. It's not something that's orthodox. It's, there's nothing morale about it. So they're, they're kind of leaving that. People are very worried about being trapped in a situation, being cut up in a situation. And I don't know like what to tell you all, but it's like you all voluntarily put yourself in these situations. Like you allow someone to manipulate you into throwing your lives, your futures away. I don't know what it is they promised you. Maybe they ain't nothing anyone can promise me to have me doing crazy stuff out here to anyone. I don't want, I don't got the time. I got too much going on to be wasting my time stalking people, bullying people. Maybe I'm too grown for their stuff. That's stuff we did in elementary, middle, and high school. Once you get out of those levels, you, you best not have time for stuff like that. You should be out here grinding, okay, to make it to the next level in life. Not be out here digressing voluntarily. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. But whatever it is you all are in, it's that you voluntarily put yourself in there. You cannot go to, like, a judge and tell them, oh, I did this because... Maria told me to do it. They said Maria doesn't own your brain. Uh, I don't know if there's something you all were doing for simply the thrill of it or something out of jealousy. Uh, this came out sideways, so a family may not be receiving wish fulfillment uh, in a situation. Um, but you simply did something out of jealousy or hate or something for uh, um, on someone else. Like you had hate for someone else, excuse me. And that's never a justifiable reason to be out here taking reckless and impulsive actions to do something to someone, causing losses and things like that, smearing someone's name, defamation, stealing and things like that. Like at a certain age, come on now. Come on. Come on. You know destiny is always going to play out. It's always going to play out. I've been seeing like that uh, uh, judgment card a lot, baby. I'm telling you, destiny is always going to play out. Always. The truth is being exposed. Okay? The truth is being exposed. You, it's like they, they were doing something to trap someone in their life, in their mind. Like someone has had like a group of people coming after one person. All of them taking turns to do someone something. And it's, it was also to keep this person trapped in their mind so that they're not focused on their work. They're feeling unsafe, feeling uneasy. And this is exactly what it is you all are about to go through, feeling unsafe, uneasy, and things like that. But there's a king of, there's like a, I don't know if this is even a genuine king of pentacles. There's a king of pentacles behind the scenes who is so financially motivated He's going to keep carrying on some type of lie. He doesn't realize, this could be a king of swords as well. He doesn't realize that the gig is up, but someone's pride won't let them stop doing something. Or they may be stuck in some type of oath that they took. Someone may even be asking someone to release, release them from this oath, this contract. And this is what I've been trying to tell you all about binding yourself to situations that you have no business binding yourself to. Those contracts are binding, whether they be verbal or, or verbal or, or, or rating. They are binding. So you binded yourself to some type of contract. Now you got to fulfill the contract. You don't feel like it because every time you take action against the person you're supposed to be destroying, something is falling apart in your life. And you didn't understand that. I think you all got so accustomed to doing something to other people and getting away with it. You met. I don't know who it is you met, but a star seed that you met and you robbed their ancestors the wrong way, may have stolen something from their bloodline, and they don't feel no way about playing Russian roulette in your life. It's a king of pentacles going through some type of financial loss, or this could be a king of swords going through financial loss because you tried to take from someone that did nothing to you, absolutely nothing to you. And this is karma playing out. I think it may be a king of swords or uh, like a greedy king of pentacles that's going through that. Being out here trying to block someone from having wish fulfillment, block a, a feminine en energy. Like a man has gotten so obsessed with a feminine energy, it is disturbing. Like do you all ever think, what if that was your daughter? What if that was your granddaughter? What if that was your sister? What if that was your wife? Do you, do you all ever sit and like actualize 
that what if someone was doing to me what it is I'm doing to this person? How would I handle it? I just heard someone say I wouldn't be able to handle it. You wouldn't. So why are you doing it to somebody else? Why? If you cannot take the heat, why give the heat to someone else? Because you know the universe is going to balance it out and return that heat to you three times full. So whatever it is you even did to that person, what you're going to get in return is far worse. And that's what a king of swords is about to be going through. A king of pentacles reverse about to be going through it. Like whatever you've been, like whatever you've been hitting someone with, what's coming back towards you is far worse. And that's what you don't understand. Like whatever you're going through right now, maybe that's just the tip of the iceberg. You're not even, you're not even halfway through. You're not even a quarter of the way yet through your karma. It's what I'm being told. Like, it just started. So you better brace yourself. Because it's about to be a bumpy ride. Strap on your seatbelt. I'm telling you, you're under judgment. Strap on your seatbelts. Because those ancestors, those uh, 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 angels, they're balancing something out. They're about to have you stuck. Oh, you're about to be so stuck. It don't even make no sense. Like you won't, you don't even have no wiggle room. They're about to dismantle your finances. If you own like a business or something, it's about to fall apart. You're going to lose that. Like you're going to have to build your life from scratch. Just like you had somebody else have to build their life, their life from scratch. And remember why you were tearing somebody else's life up. They were eaten more than likely by themselves because a lot of the time these divine beings are by themselves physically. What you don't see are the spiritual beings around them or are protecting them. But remember, whoever you were coming after, they were by themselves and had to figure things out for themselves and by themselves. They didn't come out, you know yelling, crying, screaming, things like that. They, they took every blow that you turn, you threw at them. So make sure when these ancestors are throwing a blow, right, or snatching you up to keep you in some type of box, make sure you got that same tenacity about yourself. How persistent you were when it came to trying to destroy someone, make sure you are that persistent when it comes to you having to make it through your karma. Because it's about to be a long karmic cycle for you. Okay, you're going to need a lot of strength. Especially an empress out here, baby, you're about to need a lot of strength. Because you've been out here, this is an empress in reverse. You've been out here trying to block a uh, actual king of pentacles from moving on with his life. You've been very <sighs> colorful behind the scenes. Maybe he does not know what it is you've been doing behind the scenes, causing a lot of manipulations and things like that. Lying. I'm telling you, I said manipulation split my deck and the two of swords, three of swords came out. You've been trying to stop this person, causing a lot of distress to them, lying to them, cause them a lot of heartbreak, manipulation. You betrayed this person as well. Uh, you may have even tried to get someone sick. Like, the, the level of evil and wickedness that is amongst a group of people, maybe words cannot even describe it. It cannot even emphasize it. And now these people are living in fear because a masculine is taking action secretly right to balance something out balance something out and it has these people in their feelings stuck in their head feeling rejected because these are people that were celebrating before celebrating someone's downfall celebrating someone's ending they feel like they had the right plan they had something in the bag you know i i, I don't even know like i don't even know how to like verbalize like oh lord i i don't even want to yeah, they're trying to block justice from playing from playing out. Trying to block like some type of karma from playing out, balance from playing out. They're trying to block someone from seeing the truth. The person already knows the truth. What are you doing? They're trying to stop some type of karma or judgment by the spirit realm from taking. Place. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? They don't want someone having some type of um. Bringing some type of solution in a situation as well. They don't want the ancestors balance. Like, what are you going to tell the universe? Don't do that. And they're going to stop doing something. You see what came, what came after them? Victory. Okay? Victory. The Six of Wands. Ace of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. The Magician. Okay? Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups. 
Knight of Swords, the higher baby, and then the freaking four of one. It ain't nothing you can do. What are you people doing? Why are you throwing your lives away for money that you you're not going to get it? It's what I keep being told to tell you all. You're not getting this money, and even if you got something in the past, it's cursed because it don't belong to you. It never belonged to you. Never belonged to you. What is wrong with you people? When when do we grow up? When we're in our 80s or something? Is that when we grow up and start doing? Like, I'm telling you, it's about to be a lot of disappointment for you all. You're unhappy because someone is having victory. You're like, someone said, how did this person do this? It was all of us against them, against this one person. How, how did they beat us or something? It's not about that, darling. Because someone weren't even paying you all attention. All someone's been doing the whole time is staying to themselves and investing in themselves. Not bothering anyone. Probably not even around anyone. Like a whole distance away from you all. And you've been taking reckless actions to block this person from being seen, heard, supported. And here they come. Out and bold with it. Because the universe is supporting someone. And so you're out here confused, trying to figure out how did they do this? We did everything we can we could think of. Yeah, you don't did everything you could think of. The only thing you cannot bring up is greatness. Okay. What what man? When I say someone is losing it behind the scenes, the temper tantrum, the frustration, like someone is going through an ending. When I say ending, ending, cold. Like, whoever is ending this woman or this man, they don't feel no ways about it. It's a whole group of people that's about to lose their jobs. And whoever is, is firing them, they don't feel no ways about it. They say, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I don't care. Because this is a group of toxic people, a toxic family. Oh, toxic family. And I don't even know if they're related by blood. It doesn't matter. This could just be like surrogate family. People, a group of people that came together with a common goal. And that goal was to destroy an empress. Meanwhile, while they're taking actions to destroy the empress, they're manipulating the emperor, lying to the emperor, deceiving the emperor. This kind of stuff, shoot, like this is stuff like you hear about in the movies. Okay, in the movies. I don't know if there if there's like a there's there could be a couple excuse me there could be a couple in a community maybe you're not aware of this couple but they see you as like wish fulfillment they want to work with you there's a couple that want to work with you they're supporting you they're supporting the queen of wands okay I don't know if you're aware of this couple this could be a married couple or just a couple that's been together for a long time, but they're supporting you. They see you as someone that's very uh, skilled, someone very hardworking, someone content, very positive energy about yourself. Um, I don't know what it is about these people when it comes to you, but they see you as someone that's, I don't know, like, I don't know what this is. I don't know who this couple couple is or whatever this is with them. They may be leaving a, a collaboration behind. Yeah, they're leaving something behind. Um, hmm. Oh, my gosh. They're leaving some type of collaboration behind. And I don't know if this is going to cause some type of a uh, defeat in a community. And then you have another couple that just does not know how to see, how to read. They don't know how to read the signs, symbols, and synchronicities. So they're going to keep going with something. They're going to keep doing the rituals. They're going to keep lying. They're going to keep causing manipul doing manipulations. They're going to keep doing whatever it is that they want to do. They're trying to stop. They're trying to stop someone from giving to you. There could be a couple that's trying to stop someone from being paid. What, what? Oh my gosh! Well, even if you worked for the money, you didn't work for it. They don't want you receiving it. Like this kind of insecurity is like, who? 
it's something I just picked up on as well. There's something a group is doing and they're doing it to a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups. So if you two are meant to be together, they are out here trying to stop the both of you from receiving payments, like your payout. So if you, let's say, I'm gonna use YouTube for example. If you have a YouTube platform, let's say you and your twin flame are on YouTube in the public eye. <clears throat> He may be more well-known than you since he has the three of pentacles above him. He may be more well-known than, than you are. And people are aware of him. They like his work. They, they value what it is he brings to the table, right? If he's supposed to receive some type of financial payout, there is someone doing something behind the scenes to stop this man from receiving his, pay, his payout. And this is something he put a lot of work into. They may have even hacked this man's system. His That's why I've been seeing someone hacking systems. They are, have hacked this man's system and they're trying to block him from receiving his payments from work, all kinds. Like someone, you and your twin flame are mirroring the same energy. There's a king of swords that's the one doing this out here. And this is the one that's about to go through hell. Excuse my French. Oh, he's about to go through it. And there's a whole group of friends that are burdened. Because what? The truth is out. All the illusions are being exposed about a... I'm telling you, it's a king of swords that's been out here getting into computer systems. Accounts. Causing a lot of manipulations. Trying to block people from being seen. There are two people, a queen of cups and a king of cups. He's been interfering with you two being seen on social media. This is someone very gifted, this King of Cups here. Huh. They're trying to trap this man in a situation with possibly a woman that he does not want to be with. Or maybe they're just trying to trap him. And then I say King of Freaking Swords. Yeah. Man. Sure. So the King of Swords wants to be the one that wants to that come he wants to be the one that comes in and give the Queen of Cups an offer. But really she's supposed to be with the King of Cups. So this King of Cups could be taking action, like he's taking charge. So you got me effed up in one and two many ways. He's taking action to balance something out for himself. What in the world is this nonsense? Why do grown people have this much time to be playing around? Why? Why? Yeah. Man, I think now you're... I, I don't know who this King of Cups is to you, but he understands now why you are in a Queen of Swords energy. True. He understands... Oh, I said understand. He understands now why you are in a Queen of Swords energy. Maybe someone was watching you as well and you didn't know they were watching you. Maybe you started off real sweet as a Queen of Cups and you turned into a Queen of Swords at some point and he didn't understand why it is you turned into a Queen of Swords. It's because these mother suckers have been fooling with you behind the scenes. He's realizing that now. Some type of epiphany is going on, baby. Woo! Everybody's under judgment. It'll be okay, sir. It'll work out. It'll work out. There's a king of swords that's been out here doing, yeah, doing something. In, like, I'm talking about this man. He says he's a professional. He does this. I don't know if someone does not sleep, but this man does this full time. If someone has a nine to five, he's supposed to be working. He's neglecting that nine to five. If someone has a business that he owns, he's neglecting that business. Like someone has let their life fall down by the wayside just to make sure that two people are not seen, two people do not connect. You could have a karmic couple as well that's interfering with this man's life. Like this man is going through something behind the scenes, going through something. And he's still pushing forward because he's made his decision to give his offer to that Queen of Cups. They're trying to stop your resources. That's what I said. They're trying to stop his resources, her resources. They're trying to block everything. A woman of high honor. They don't want you being seen. They don't want you being self-sufficient. They don't want you being independent. They want to dismantle you. So when this person comes into you or whoever's supposed to come into you, when they look at you, they are repulsed. 
you're standing your ground. He's standing his ground, still coming in to give you that offer. And that's what? Clarity. Something is being illuminated. And this truth being illuminated, you being supported is going to lead to your new beginning. This man is very hopeful that he can well connect with you in divine timing so that you too can have this new beginning. And it's going to lead to an ending for this group of people. And this is destiny playing out. Balance, attunement, baby. You two are going to successfully end this chapter the right way. The right way. So, dang. I think I did I, I pull on this energy before. It's like two people are mirroring the same energy. They, uh, Two soulmates are mirroring the same energy. It, group, it doesn't matter if they're twin flame or whatever. They're mirroring the same energy. It's a king of swords that wants to come in and tell a woman, we're soulmates. I got a lot of feelings for you. If you're a king of swords in the upright, I'm not talking about you, but it's someone here corrupt that's been collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes and he wants to come into a queen of swords and give her some type of offer to keep her stuck in some type of situation. It's a no, no. It's a no. No. No, 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 no. Someone has been collaborating against you behind the scenes. I don't know what changed. Yeah. I don't know what changed. They're trying to defeat a woman of high honor who's a queen of wands, but the one they want to offer to go to a queen of wands in the reverse is what I'm picking up on it because these are people that have been collaborating with a queen of wands. A queen of wands, upright, we have no reason to be collaborating with a group of people to block someone, to defeat someone. That's not a queen of wands in the upright that's receiving that offer, okay? That's someone that's in the reverse. She's not receiving the offer. They want it to go to her. They want it to go to her. But it's going to go to the person that it's supposed to. People that are in the upright don't got time to be collaborating to plot other people down for. That's immature as heck. They said, why are you this invested in blocking two people from coming together? One that already told you he don't need you. He don't want you for nothing. Like, he don't want to be with you. He does not want to work with you. He does not want to collaborate with you. Like, he's done. How many ways does someone got to tell you they're done? How many different ways? You speak English. It's pretty straightforward. No, I'm done. We're done. We're finished. What do you want him to start speaking French, you finny? I'm, I'm done. It's finished. I'm done. Like, what do, you, what do you want? What do you want? Some, like, this is why you got to have self-respect. When someone says they don't want you, you need to know that's the time to walk away. Don't ever let anyone tell you they don't want you more than once time. One time. Don't let them do it twice. One time. Yeah, I don't care if you is. I don't care what the situation is, whether you are right in the situation, wrong in the situation. If someone tells you they don't want you, let it be the first and the last time. But you're out here trying to force yourself on a man that don't want to be with you. You're already exposing your hands to him because you don't know how to let go. That's letting him know you're very cool dependent. Now you got people out here trying to defeat a queen of wands that's in the upright, trying to stop this person that ain't having done nothing to you because you're trying to hold on to someone that don't want to be with you. The community you're in, they want to partner up with the new queen of wands. What? Listen. <laughs> There's a queen of wands in the upright, darling. You're a queen of swords, empress, queen of cups, energy, whatever. You, girl, you're everything in the deck. Um, You're about to come. Like, I don't know if you started a situation as like a queen of cups energy, which is what I mentioned earlier. You started as a queen of cups, made your way to the queen of pentacles, I believe, became a queen of swords. You've been in that energy for a long time and people know that. Um, And you're about to come out a queen of wands. Like, ready for the BS. Like, I wish a mother ever would. That's why you're going to be coming out as the Queen of Wands. You've always been beautiful. You've always been very uh, loyal and things like that. But there's something where it's like your energy you used to be more nonchalant. You kind of let things fly by and things like that. Nah, when you come out as this Queen of Wands, baby, you're about to come out a brand new thinking person in your wardrobe. Very beautiful, even more beautiful than you were before. Like, you're about to have people, like, gagging out here. Like, just disgusted at your beauty. 
disgusted at your happiness, disgusted at your joy, disgusted at your comfort. And whoever's about to be working with you, they say they don't give two Fs, three Fs, four Fs, five, no Fs. They don't care. So kudos to you because someone knows you've put in a lot of work. You've dealt with a lot to get to where you are. I don't know what this is, but this is karma playing out for you, justice. Okay, this is justice. You are going to keep what it is that's yours. Your destiny is yours, is what I'm being told. Your destiny is yours. No one else can have it. It's final. I just heard that. It's final. Someone's wishing to take some type of action. I don't know what action they're taking. It better be the right one, because if it ain't... Whoever ancestors, whoever it is you are coming after their ancestors are going to be stuck on you like white on rice because they are out here playing Russian roulette. There are beings from other dimensions that are out here now on this planet taking care of business. So you all may want to throw out with caution because they are kind of fed up. These are beings that come with love, but <clears throat> some of these ancestors, I don't, I don't think they're in a loving energy right now. So you all may want to thread with caution. All this feeling entitled to do whatever you want because something makes you feel uncomfortable. You don't like somebody. Your, your mind are playing tricks on you or something. and You can't see things straight. So you think life is about you and how you feel, how something makes you feel. I don't like her because she she uh talks different i don't like her because she thinks different i don't like him because he talks different i don't like him because nobody cares about any of that you may want to thread with caution there are people amongst you that are going through some type of karma they can't even talk to you all about it because it's supernatural you're keeping it to themselves and they are burden burden somebody's ancestors are wreaking havoc in you, some of these people's lives and they're not talking about it oh no they're not talking about it because you're all self-sabotage and while you were self-sabotaging guess what someone was out here healing recuperating investing in themselves oh sir whoever you are these people are coming after make sure you get some rest because they're trying to have you in a state where it's like you're not getting enough sleep. You're feeling burdened, overwhelmed, and you're not doing things like you're supposed to do. If you're in a community where you're working with these people, they're trying to give you a lot of work and tax to do to have you feel overburdened. So that you don't have time to self-actualize. You feel uh, like burnt out, basically. Frustrated. They want you to have some type of emotional outburst. Where you just start acting out. Like they're trying to get you to take some type of impulsive and reckless action. Just so the police can come in and arrest you or something. Threat with caution. Don't even like, don't do it. If you need to sleep, go to sleep. Protect yourself, go to sleep. Get you some rest. Take some things. You know how we say sometimes you got to pick your battles. Take some stuff by the chin and just, you like you know you, whew. Just take it, on, take it on the chain and just go on about your day because they're doing something to get some type of emotion out of you. Because these are people that are just, I don't know what is wrong with them. I don't know. I don't know what these people are. I don't know what they are. They're, they're literally coming after two soulmates. Dang it. 23-5. Uh, you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. Somebody's about to be going on a road trip. I don't know who you are, but congratulations on your new beginning. Uh, 444. 444. Trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. Okay, now, sir, don't let those people have you out here thinking otherwise. You are protected. You are secure. Um, I mean, you could just be in your King of Cups energy or something. Um, also, what I'm picking up on is there's a King of Cups in a community that has access to, like, someone in the legal system that he's been using to do his work. Uh, or he's been trying to use to do his work for someone that backfire. Cause it's like, I don't know. 
something I'm also picking up on, excuse me. This King of Swords here could be a police officer. This could be like his nephew. With him being a King of Cups, there's some type of famil familiarity. So I'm trying to see this from a different uh, perspective. He's trying to have either his uncle or whoever this is do something illegal. But this man is in the upright. This King of Swords is in the upright and he's balancing something out. This man don't give two Fs about whose nephew this is, brother this is. He don't care. There's some type of familiarity between these two. He don't care. He said right is right, wrong is wrong. And he's fixing something. He may be trying to work a uh, meet with a queen of swords or something. Maybe he's supporting someone. I don't know what this is, but everything's going to be sorted out. Maybe there's too much confusion for me. Y'all know my brain is about this big and my attention span this long. I don't got time. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.